Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time because it is Friday. And that means it's another edition of Friday's Finds. Had someone ask me on a video comment what my camping essentials were. So this is gonna be the camping essentials edition of Friday's Finds. I've got some camping essentials that we just gotta have no matter how we're camping. Well, there's gonna be camping essentials for RV camping and tent camping. We're gonna kick it off with something that you must have if you have an RV. So if you ever, oh, oh did you notice? We're out, we're out at Tranquility Base. Oh, the RV homestead. I haven't posted a video on Dude RV from, from here since uh, um, since I started that channel. Well, that's not true. I did, I, I did post one. But as you can see, we have some roadage. We've got a place down there to put up the barn dough. We've got a place to park the coach. And we have electricity, which brings us to the first product on this edition of Friday's Fives. I've worked with Rauto Vibe before, and so they are a returning sponsor, and I want to give a big shout out of thanks to Rauto Vibe for reaching out and saying, hey, we got something new. You need to share with your with your duders. They have a new Rauto Vibe surge protector. This is the P1 RV surge protector. It's got an LED digital display, real-time voltage. It's got an app. So you can monitor on the app all kinds of stuff. You know, it's a it's a surge. So if you're from if you're if you don't have an RV, or even if you do have an RV and you're just plugging into the pedestal. That can end up costing you quite a bit of money. Any little surge can fry a chip in your air conditioner, your fridge, heater, all of these various components. And, and yeah, you may have insurance and you may have an extended warranty, but you still have to come out of pocket for those. Not to mention the headache that you got to go through to get it repaired. So I've been running with a basic surge protector forever. Two years ago. I made some modifications to the RV AC system by putting in soft start, changing up the plenum, improving the overall efficiency, but I was never able to really identify how much power my AC system used. Well, thanks to the route to vibe, smart, I don't know if it's a smart surge protector, but it's a great surge protector. It, when you plug in it tells you if there's an issue if you have anything other than three green lights you don't plug in we got a little glare so you can't really tell but it tells you the real-time voltage and it'll also show you a light here if it's surge protecting well, that's pretty those those are relatively common features on on rv surge protectors I give you a great breakdown on the back of the box here as to all of that. I've also got a really fantastic owner's manual to get this thing set up. Look at there. It just popped right out, jumped out. It wanted, wanted to be on the video. It's very simple to use. Pretty much, you just plug it in. But if you get curious and you're wanting to know, wait a minute. So if you, if you want to take a look at, let me get out of the sun so, so we're not battling the glare. So if you're, if you're wanting to see, like right now, we're at 120, 125 volts. It will give you an alert if that goes too high or too low. We're using 11 amps, and that's with two air conditioners running. Uh, I've used three kilowatts since I plugged in and we're averaging thir uh, 1,375 watts. So if I had 1,400 watts of solar, I could be powering both air conditioners. 
that's pretty cool now that i know that information but most important i can sleep good tonight knowing with thunderstorms in the area and lots of lightning strikes trudy thunder's protected so that's our first item the next item i have to wait till tomorrow because i can't break that bad boy out with it raining uh but we'll un we'll, we'll unbox it i'll read on it and, and and then tomorrow we'll set it up we have a returning sponsor to friday's finds if you've been following the channel on the show for any length of time you will remember the mc store the mc store on amazon they provided us with the very first bell tent the two mount bell tent they also sent us the folding camp stove to go in that same tent well they reached out to me a little a few weeks ago and said hey we're introducing an all new tent nothing like it on the market are you interested <laughs> heck yeah it arrived in this box that box weighs 75 pounds yeah so let's open it up and see what's in it let's see what's in the heavy box i kind of have a clue but you know i i gotta gotta put on a show gotta make it entertaining Now the, the bell tent, and I've, I've gone through a lot of, I've worked with a lot, I have worked with a lot of tents. Bag of poles, bag of tent. Bag of poles, bag of tent. Pardon the mess, <laughs> I've been traveling. Got to, got to get it all in there somehow. And we have we have a brochure. So that's what we're going for right there. So on our camping essentials edition of Friday's finds, we're going to put up the MC Stores big fancy belt him so let's get to it
all set up wasn't nearly as much of a challenge as the instructions made me think it was going to be. I like this tent. I, I, I like this tent a lot. It wasn't too difficult for one person to set up. Now, if you're going to be setting up just the upper portion without the walls or the floor, just using that as a canopy, that, that might be a bit more challenging. And that's where the, that's where this comes in to play. This, this shows you where your outer stakes are going to be. I personally, I, I think that the stakes, the anchor points are undersized as with, as with most tents. I think they need to be pretty long spikes, especially here where I'm on sand. So they, they would pull out pretty easy. They will pull out pretty easy. Let's talk about the material. So this is the same material that the smaller bell tent is made from. It's, it's a cotton material that I, I'm pretty sure that's treated with a hydrophobic coating, meaning water will bead off. The wall is nylon, which that, that saves you some weight because if that wall was the same material as the, the roof, that'd be, we'd, be, we'd be getting up into the 100 pound range or more. I really like that every face is a door so it doesn't matter how you set it up you don't have to worry about your orientation you know some little crooked there i need to straighten that up uh it's a learning experience <laughs> you learn as you do uh, so you wouldn't have to worry about orientation you no matter how you set it up you've got a door facing in any direction we do have the smokestack jack i really like the rain fly for the for the peak vent stepping inside i didn't do a real good job getting my floor stretched out that's the first thing you do that's the foundation of your tent uh, i should have stretched it a little bit more but that's okay i'm not sleeping on it tonight I really like that all of the doors open, the windows open in on a couple of the tents that I've looked at. You have to go outside to open the tent. And if, if you're in bed and the weather's nasty, going outside to close the window, that's not any fun. I really like the amount of space. I'm, even with the, the last really big tent that I've, I've worked with, the walls were half, half the height. So you had less space. You know, I'm a tall guy, I'm six foot two. So having headroom is, is a valuable commodity, <laughs> especially in a tent. This is, this is cool. I really like this. So if we want to get some airflow going, you pull down. If it starts raining, just let it go back up. And you can just, you know, get a little, get a little air going. I really like that feature. We have gear pockets. And if, if you're in a bug-free zone, you can unzip the floor from the walls and raise all the walls. If you, and you'll notice in the pictures on, on the Amazon listing, they, they show the tent set up without the floor. So if you've got a nice grassy patch and you want that to be your floor, you can do that. I think the, the door could be a little bit taller. I like that tent. That, that's that's 200, approximately 200 square feet of, of living space. Quite 
Nice. If you're worried about inclement weather, you can add some additional tie down points because the, the, the bell tent construction, the bell tent, bell tents handle inclement weather really well because they're kind of spherical and the wind flows around it. But you got to have them tight, very tight, in order for them to be the most weather stable. Which is why I said I, I think I will be upgrading the outer anchor points. I like this tent. Didn't take very long to set up at all. You watched me do it. it it's basically set up the same way as any other bell tent. Oh, it's muggy. All right, our third and final sponsor for this Camping Essentials edition of Friday's Finds. We have another returning sponsor. I want to give a special shout out of thanks to Simpure. They reached out to me and they said, hey, we, we know you spent a lot of time camping and this is a Camping Essential. They have come out with a new squeeze water system to make sure you get drinkable water out in the wilds. So let's take a look at what's in this little box. Oh, very nice. Filters down to 0 0.01 micron. Squirt bottle tops. A water straw. And we have four bottles. So this, this is if you're going on a group trip. Where's the flap? So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. One is you can just carry the bag full of water and drink straight from the straw. Or you can fill this, hang it, and run the water into another bottle. You can screw it on like that. Or you can connect this to the Simpure water bag and fill each individual bag. Put the squirt cap on, put a carabiner there, and you've got a portable water canteen. According to the specs, 0 0.01 micron average pour size. Uh, it has multiple layers. There's hollow fibers, there's a cotton membrane, there's activated carbon, five microns, and then another cotton. So it's got multiple, flav multiple layers of filtration to make sure you get good clean water. You don't, you don't want to drink dirty water. Drinking dirty water is not very good. Simpure, they are your go-to company for clean water on the go. All right, we have reached the end of this Camping Essentials edition of Friday's Finds. We now have clean power protecting our RV. Thank you, Rauto Vibe, for sponsoring this edition. We have a 200 square foot of living space, awesome tent that can withstand the elements. Thank you, MC Store, for being a video sponsor. And last, but certainly not least, thank you to Simpure for giving us that clean water. I want to thank all three of those stores for returning to sponsor 
Friday's finds. And I also want to thank you for spending your time with me. If, you're, if you've reached this point in the video, thank you so much. If you found some value, whether it's information or entertainment, I'm in the infotainment business, so please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. If you've not already, I would be most honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. That helps way more than you know. And for those of you who have been following along from the bottom of my heart, thank you. That is why I get to do what I do. So thank you very much for that. And for my patrons, I am so grateful. I am so honored. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?